Hello everybody and welcome back to another Gary's Mod video. Today, playing Asheville. This is a map I was actually going to play a very, very long time ago. But I was having issues with Gary's Mod and everything on this map was purple and black. And I'm hoping that doesn't happen now. I mean, like all, everything was purple and black, I don't even know why. And... I was just having a lot of issues with the textures, but here we are, we're finally here. I'm gonna follow these little concrete things. We got ashes falling from the sky, which kind of looks like snow, but it's actually ashes. Alright, we already got a building. Oh, look at this. And the sound just stops. Hello, I'm named Trevor. If you see this, bring help. I'll be hiding north. Which way is north? Where's the sun? Perhaps a compass will help. Single chair. Creepy. Game lagged a bit there, that was weird. Can't handle the ashes. I wonder how many grandmas are in these ashes here. No, I'm just kidding. I'm imagining this is after some kind of nuclear bomb. Something. My character model actually matches this map looks like what he looks like. It makes a lot of sense. I love the detail of the ashes and the walls and stuff. Really cool places to build. This will go downstairs. There's an upstairs, but let's go down first. Why am I going down first? I feel like that's the worst thing you could do. Doors locked. B. Like an eyeball. Eyeball sign. Oh, I didn't even know that was there. I thought that was a wall. My left. Creepy. Something behind this. Someone's gonna run past one of these hallways. I don't know if this is gonna be like a horror map or just designed very creepily. What the hell is that? Wait. Is that like a cat? What is that? Ugh. Easter egg. Gone. What the hell was that? It looked like a cat. It looked like the cat from Alice in Wonderland, like the, the edgy one that they made. I'm not talking about the game. No.
Wait, is more falling? What's happening? Can I crawl through here? I don't think so. That sound. What the fuck? Why did it just stop? There's things in here. Do I no clip in? I think I just look in. I have to use my lantern for this. To get it out. Because it's hard for me to see with this light. The flash. Just mining. Five of us. Please bring help. This is heaven. You know, people get trapped and isolated like this a lot. Sometimes they creep as the sounds and messed up. Some people actually find a weird pee in it. Like in prison, people find peace being locked up in the hole, they call it, at times. Because they just, they end up learning how to clear their minds for once in their life. Even in jacked up situations like this. That's so creepy. There's more to this map than I thought there would be. Do I want to turn around to see if that wood's broke? Yes, I do. It is broke. I already went in there, though. Sorry about that pause. I shouldn't have no-clipped in there. I, I'm not gonna no-clip again. Sound is back. It's so creepy how it just stops. This map has triggered events, which worries me, but I wish I played this sooner. I thought this was just going to be a very boring, ash-looking map. No hate, though. I love this map already. I swear, I thought I, thought I saw something standing on that. I feel like standing here is a bad idea. I throw one out the window. Did I see something in the distance? Oh no, that's just my dirty screen. I thought I saw something standing there. But my screen was just dirty. Wait, there's... So... Oh. close on its own but maybe they do that on automatically so hungry hungry your flesh flesh is appetizing I must hunt somebody resorted to cannibalism really ashy in here oh
Oh, both of them broke at once. So freaked out. I never even know with Gmod maps anymore, man. Explored every floor here, so I guess we can go up. Well, it looks sussy. I don't know whether to feel more safe the higher up I go or afraid. have a crowbar. I'm I will go into Gordon Freeman mode I, mode, I swear. Start sprinting around at the speed of sound if you mess with me. at very unrealistic, unnormal, unhumanly speeds. We look through these I can't even remember. Makes us scarier. If not got the ash pea bucket. I'm I'm so disrespectful. I just feel like if I do something like that, it's going to trigger something. But I also feel like maybe I shouldn't be trying to search out for creepy things. Otherwise, I will have heart attack. That's going to open. That... There's gonna be like a shadow figure or some shit, man. Standing in one of the corners. Sorry, Mr. Ghost. I didn't mean to break your coffee cup. Perhaps we will find a key. You see how shaky I am. Not from being nervous, I'm just always shaky. I'm a little nervous though. That does add to it. Okay. Keep going up. Man, there's so many rooms. So many areas are empty. There's bound to be something jacked up in one of these rooms. But why does it look extra like dark there? That's creepy. I feel like something's gonna come out of that and emerge.
See, there's like a black liquid there. I don't know what that could be. It just looks like wet ash. It could be either water, blood, something else. Something demonic. Okay, you know what? Maybe going downstairs actually was a better idea because this place it goes on and on and on and on. And on. Sorry. I know there's someone that that's like, I hate that song. Don't do that again. Reminds me of my grandma. this tall from the outside. Guess we keep going up. We're at the top. Oh no, it's the interloper. Hello. What the fuck is that? Did it just look at me? I think it's moving. That's me walking. Hey, dumbass. Hello. See if that one door opened yet. Can't remember. I want a no clip in there. I want to. I want to open this door. Holy shit, that's scary. It knows that I cheated. Oh, I'm so creeped out. It knows I cheated. Wonder if there's a key for that room. I, I I need to stop cheating. I have a habit of it. When I can't figure out something. I just I just give up and cheat. I'm sorry. Oh man, this is scary. Look at all this stuff I've thrown out the windows. I'm gonna go up. I'm very new with. I'm gonna go up this way. I'm leaving you. Visible wall. No. Oh, okay. This is just. It goes on. Okay, there we go. There's an invisible wall. Found to find something out here. Hello. Oh, no. Nah, you, you... You expect me to go down there? You go first. We are in this creepy-ass bunker now. The demons know I've cheated. This is jacked up. So quiet. I broke a bottle. 
Sorry about the pauses. This is timeout chair. Oh, I'm sorry I cheated. I hope you're not all too upset. This guy seems to be singing. You're a little upset. These guys are having a dull time. Alright. Goodbye. Crawling in the... Give me something under this pallet. Okay, never mind. Crawling in the ground. Is that it for this? It is. I like that. The way everything is designed looks like it was made for. Like it was. It knew that something was gonna explode or whatever. Like it really does feel like a new healer fallout type of thing. I'm trying to look out and see. Find more. A bit hard. Maybe they're crawling through the ground of the ashes. Who knows? Hard to see anything here. There's a train. It just seems like everything was buried in ashes. You know, that one building makes me wonder if that actually went down lower than we thought. There's a house. Coming. That's bound to trigger something, right? Besides people in the comment section. I'm not trying to do that to offend anyone. Just seeing if there's any secrets that happened because of that. Doesn't look like it. Okay. Creepy though. Creepy. Alright, let's.
What I really like is it's just so open. You hardly find anything. You're bound to find something. Building where I threw everything out of. And I could dang, I toss this too far. Is this the one? That... Same one? Yeah, it is because of the shovel I threw in. Let me double check. Maybe it changed. I broke the crosses. Oh man. I, why did that scare me more than the first time? Okay. I think we're good. someone's like you missed everything about this map all oh, because you cheated I feel like that was just meant to be a little easter egg you know what this map reminds me of it's giving me a abyssinal plane vibes which was a cool underwater map one of my favorite horror maps of all time I think that might have been what one of the most like at my favorite atmospheric creepy map of all time. This one's really good too though. It's definitely going up there. Never mind, there's a dead end I don't care anymore. So what do you all think this place was? Just a normal town? Or what? We got covered in ash. I should have read the description again before I started. I read it once and then think I'm going to remember it at the beginning of a video. Then I just... Never do. Alright, there's some music playing, so I, I didn't want to get copyrighted, so I turned it off. Oh, take it out. Oh, and it moves in the wind. How did you even manage that? That's so cool. Is there like a whole wind thing in this game that I just never heard of? Because that's cool. So. Seems like I head in straight lines in certain areas and I find stuff. Here we got a car. I got a slight lag spike when I pressed E on it, but I don't know if that actually meant it. The Jesus house. House of Jesus. If that was like Battlefield and it made the whole entire building break. For context, there's a thing in Battlefield where if you broke a pallet on the side of the house, the entire house would break. Hilarious. But we've been here. I just never went under. 
And I'm glad my character has a face mask, otherwise you'd just be getting a face full of ashes. Although I imagine, well I don't know, I'm not going to say anything. I'm going to say I imagine ashes aren't too dirty, like germ wise, but I don't know. Is eating ashes bad for you? Can you you can technically eat human ashes, right? Since, like, everything inside of it is dead. Including the nervous system. That, that's such a dark thought, I'm sorry, but... These, these questions are important. Not really, but... Imagine if you eat something... Like a nervous system. I mean, obviously, you get really sick if you eat a person and then have a part of their nervous system. If you could somehow get around the nervous system, I think that you end up being fine. Cannibalism is just a terrible thing, though. I, I I find cannibalism quite gross, but... Kind of like where I was walking, it sounded kind of different. This, this is the damn building. We just walk around the edges of the world. Um, but if you eat the ashes of a nervous system or a body, I mean, obviously you're eating ashes, but does it give the same effects as eating a human that's dead? Is that the safest way to be a cannibal, is eat ashes? I can't walk anymore this way, by the way. So, I'm just gonna kind of walk on the side of the border. See if we find anything like this. I like it when maps don't technically end. There's something there. Oh, no there isn't. I like it when maps don't technically end just because of the... Oh, wait. Oh, I'm on the edge of the world. Oopsie. I don't remember how far I had to go. I'm... I'm sorry. Let's keep going. I, I found it. I found the edge. Now I can't tell if I've walked in a loop or not. Alright, we ended up back here again. Walking the border and... Still haven't found anything. So I think that we might have walked in. I'm going to wait a little bit longer. I'm going to keep pausing though, just in case. I'm going to pause again. Make sure. There's something. I mean... I'll unpause it if I find any. If not, then... I'll have another look around at stuff we've seen already. Okay, yeah, I've just found the same house. Again, so I think we've looked at everything we can. I, just, I thought I just saw something inside that freaked me out. The door freaked me out. Um, Pretty sure that we've looked everywhere we can. If I missed something, I apologize very easy to miss things in this map so I recommend you check this map out for yourself really cool and I like this anyways you guys enjoyed this loved it I'm gonna have a little no clip around just just a little one no I'm gonna fly up the thing about these maps that have like a fog distance is you can never find the um guy boxes or anything like that, which I like to do at the end of episode.
But that's fine if we can't find it. Be sad. For the rest of my life. But, uh, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, be safe, bye.